Hey everybody, and welcome back to Sales of Hysteria. Last time we went to the Bulls Inn, Bulls Ruins, yeah. and we cleansed the source of the malevolence in Marland. This time... Saray, let us give our respects to Rohan and the others. Right, good thinking. <sighs> We're doing that. So let's go and visit Rohan. So the town's all nice and happy now. Everyone's chilled, the medicine's working. It's all good. Over here, we have a little guy with a side quest. It was on his way to the Bulls Ruins when my dad caught me, worse like ever. A shiny, pretty stone. It does make me curious. It might be some sort of artifact. Okay, so there's a shiny, pretty stone in the board's ruins that that kid had heard about. Lady Lila, you're back! You folks done fix this place right up! Little by little, people are coming back to worship the great tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aw, no. Y'all are running out on us? You take care, Attack. I, I'm staying behind. Huh? Okay. After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia, you don't mean... And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels, but I... Well? Thank you so much, Alicia. Same to you. For everything, Saray. <laughs> Get a room, you two. It's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. And I'll keep chasing my dream. Safe travels. Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay, so I did say at the end of last time that, um, you know, I was going to do some grinding. I was going to uh, buff myself up. I was blocked from leaving Marland. I could not physically leave Marland. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I couldn't do anything of that that I wanted to do. But it's cool. It's all cool. I... I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there! The Empire! The Roland's Empire is attacking! What? So the war has begun. Please, Lord Cloud. Pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. You're injured. It's too dangerous. There's no time to waste. Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so weird it out by what just happened. <laughs> and why wouldn't he be, I guess, really? Alright, you bums! Play time's over! Let's go show those fru frus in the capital what we're made of! Yeah! Uh. I'm going. Yeah, 
I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the Shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep, it's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rollins wouldn't be so lucky is the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. All right. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay, so there's one more side quest in here. Sarei, don't forget about the library key. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, right. Crap, 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 I need to crap, return crap, it to Nate. Crap, crap. Sorry. Oh, never mind. Well, there goes that. Hmm. Awkward. Nate! Oh, sorry. I came to return this. It's from Agatha. The key to the library. Thanks and sorry to trouble you. When I grow up, I'm gonna be like Maltran. I'm gonna be the second blue Valkyrie. Boys can't be Valkyries, dummies. If Maltran's teaching anyone, it's gonna be me. She's not gonna teach you. Your clothes aren't even blue. Hey, she's they female. will be once I finally get my mom to buy some. Someone's popular. It's because Lady Maltran actually comes from Marland. She only became heir to her line when all the other successors passed away. And while her sense of responsibility was second to none, she was quite a frail young girl. She has trained herself very rigorously. And now she is the Blue Valkyrie. So they're opposites. What? Nothing. You just clarified something for me. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get it, but I'm glad I could be of help to the Shepherd. I had one more thing I wanted to ask. Have you heard of Iris Gems? Iris Gems? We have one. I just enshrined it in the Sanctuary as an Ooh. offering for the town's restoration. Shiny. Can we borrow it? There's something we're investigating. I wouldn't dream of refusing the Shepherd's request. Please. Keep it as long as you like. Thank you. Alright, let's go and get the shiny first. Sorry about the phone going off. I don't... <laughs> I'm not usually very popular. Hmm? Oh. Someone spotted something. Hang on. It's going to bug me otherwise. You're there, aren't you? Ah, Norman for the win. Ah, look at this. Hey, little buddy. Ah, uh, rise, you say. Resist, even. Sure. Sivaran's army prepares to march to war. The soldiers cheer their general.
Miklio, what do you think it means? The king was handing a sword over. Pretty clear that it was some formal military ceremony. And I imagine the person receiving the sword was a general. The uniform would suggest a general of the Roland's Empire. It's hard to say exactly when this took place, though. Whoever he was, he sure looked like a hero. But what does it mean? It's not like that's a particularly uncommon type of scene, historically speaking. If we could see more, we might get a better idea as to why this scene showed up. Do you think there are any more? I don't know, but let's try to find them. I mean, hidden glimpses of history? How cool is that? <clears throat> also looked like the, uh, the king and the general were related. Let's talk to a Lucas. Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! The battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. Fine. We'll pull back beyond the Grifflet River. It's a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. <laughs> Change of plans, you bums! We're taking the town's folk to safety, up north across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order! Thank you. You'd better get ready yourself. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. You got it. Okay, so I believe I can leave Marlin now. Yes. So, first things first, I'm going to check for the Irish gem. Well, the shiny artifact in the boar's ruins. I'm assuming it's an Irish gem. Could be something nice. So, Saray, when you said they're opposites, boy, are you thick, thick Leo? <laughs> hey, I was gonna say you meant her and Alicia. If you'd let me finish. Forget it. The moment is over. Mickley over. How did my life get to this point? <laughs> it's not a bad thing for them to contrast with each other. Just. They've been striving for the same goal, even though their motivations and circumstances are different. Right. Alicia chose to carry out her duty as royalty, even though it hasn't been going as well as she'd hoped. Huh. While Maltran never wanted to be a knight, but nevertheless, she's achieved great deeds and earned the respect of the people. In each case, things haven't gone entirely as planned. Perhaps both of them feel that way. Shouldn't we tell Saray and the others about how useful the Lords of the Land are? If you keep babying them instead of letting them think for themselves, they're just gonna turn into, well, babies. <laughs> but then again, they do need to know things like how the affected area is predetermined, and how boons increase as you engage in more battles. And also how, if there's a skill you want, you could ask a Norman to increase the enemy drop rate. There and we not go. to mention how, as you acquire more boons, the amount of boons you can make effective increases as well. If they knew that much, it'd be plenty. I just want to make sure that if they wind up in an area with no boons, they know to focus first on restoring the Lord of the Land's blessing to the area. Even if you don't have confidence in your battle abilities, common sense is common sense, no matter how you cut it. Huh. Interesting. Did you eavesdrop on our conversation? What, is that a crime? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the Lord of the Land, uh, you assign the Norman that you want skills for, so I think I've got attack? Yeah, currently it's the Norman attack. Um, it'll increase the level of the enemies around, but it's pretty much worth it if you're trying to farm a specific thing like I am. Obviously, it's more worth to do it in higher level areas, but I don't see anything wrong with doing it already. Okay, let's go to the Boar's Ruins.
See if we can find the shiny. I like shinies. But that's on the map. Where are you? There. Okay. Counting on you, Lila. Sure. Yeah. The ruins are calling me. They should be we're in them. Counting on you. All right, what are these things, sweet? You, Lila. Yeah. Let's keep it up. Air Tiger blade. No escape. It's over. Blade bang. Earth dragon bang. How's this? All right. Shatterfang! Hot trigger! Yeah! Blade! Not yet! How's this? Air pressure! Yeah! The ruins are calling me! Uh, that way... Yeah. Okay, so it's not far away. I can't remember how you can see, like, what side quests you've got running. Counting on you, Lila! Yeah! Ready? Let's keep it up! How's this? Sword flare! Earth Dragon Fang! How's Blood this? Yeah. yeah! Not yet! You're not done yet. Time to learn some humility. Air pressure! I will smite evil! Tiger Blade! Earth Dragon Fang! I will smite evil! Alright! Time to learn some humility. Tiger Blade! Strike! Air it's pressure. over! Nice. Well, that was actually pretty decent. Must have been, if you're complimenting me. <laughs> Squeak. Okay, let's get rid of these two at once. Hopefully. Maybe. There we go. Be on your guard! Yeah! Tiger Blade! No escape! It's over! Shelter! Have seen you in! Rising Sands! Rising Sands! Oh, get back here. Giant Iron Curt Rock Winner! Eat this! Iron Curt, take this! Giant. Oh, you can see the Irish gem in the background. That's actually really cool. You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. Red Irish gem, Fyra. Author of the Celestial Record, finds a village with his wife, child, and friends. Was the author of the Celestial Record a village chief? It looked like he was founding a village or something. Hey, Miklio, I was wondering, you don't suppose he was a shepherd? If the shepherd was the one who wrote the Celestial Record, a lot of things start to make sense, and... Hmm... Miklio? Oh, um, sorry. What did you just say? Whoa, I've never seen you space out like that. You feeling okay? Oh no, poor sick Leo. Nice. <laughs> no, but seriously, you all right? Should we sit down for a bit? I'm fine. I just got caught up in my thoughts. For some reason. Alright, how do I... I'm sure there's a way that I can see... Quests, but I can't quite figure it out. Oh well. Anyway, I think we're done here, so... I'm pretty sure it's just the one iris gem that two people were discussing. So... Uh, let's head back to... Lucas.
It's very dramatic music. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is the point where stuff starts to go down. So I'm going to pull. Um, I'm going to stop this here, and next time on Tales of Hysteria, we will talk to Lucas and possibly join the war. See you guys then.